Hello and welcome back to week 16 of Pilates with Marilyn. My name is Marilyn Harder, Pilates instructor and Pilates master trainer. We're going to focus in on working through imbalances in our body and we're going to begin by standing in uh, the center of our mats. So I want you to take a moment and spread those toes out wide and try and find the connection between the big toe and pinky toe side of the ball of the foot. I'm gently lifting my toes up in the air, floating them off the mat and thinking about sinking my heels into the floor. I want you to imagine your feet are like cars. You've got front tires to your cars and back tires to your car. Try and even out your placement of your weight into both cars, both sets of tires of your car. Now I want you to also think about your knees, making sure we're not locking through the back of the knee and you can still feel the back of those hamstrings fire. Now let's take those palms down by our sides, rolling our shoulders up, back and down. Really spread through the fingertips and imagine you're wearing a Superman cape down your back and feel those shoulder blades gently connecting down the back. And we'll begin with our Pilates breath. Big inhale through the nose. Feel that rib cage expand. Try and breathe into any tight areas of your rib cage. For me, it's the back of my right rib cage. Exhale, blow out all that air through the mouth, either through a sigh or through pursed lips until you can't blow out any more air and you feel that corset connect 360 degrees. Let's do that again. Big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, blow out all that air. Feel those ribs draw in, connect against the shoulder blades. All right, we're gonna take this nice solid static motion or static connection into motion from the ankle joints. Now I want you to think about slightly setting down those toes gently into the earth. And we're gonna start to hinge forward at that ankle joint. As we hinge forward like a downhill skier, make sure you're not locking out those knees. Make sure you're not leaving your butt behind. Take it with you, press that pubic bone forward. And we're gonna take a big inhale here. Don't let your heels lift. Now exhale, we're gonna slowly sink back in space until we find equal pressure between the ball of the foot and the heel. If you need to bring those hands up in front and counterbalance, do it. Start sinking back towards those heels just a bit more until those feet wanna float up. Really try and drive the ball of the foot into the floor. Notice how the core turns on. And let's do that again. Sinking forward like a downhill skier. Try not to lock out those knees. Really focusing on anchoring those heels down, pressing the pubic bone forward and those shoulders are back and down. And then let's sink it back. All pairing this with our breath. You should feel the front side of your body and the back side of your body really begin to turn on. All right, let's reset to center. Now, we're gonna lean to the front right corner of your mat. I like to ima imagine Michael Jackson in Smooth Criminal. So we're starting to lean at those ankle joints through, through that front right corner. Now, intuitively, the inside heel and the outside heel are going to lift. Try and anchor them in towards the mat. You may be he hearing my trees in the background. It's a beautiful fall day here. And let's go ahead and sink our body weight, I guess it's winter, to the opposite back corner of the mat. So back, left side, all from the ankle joints. The ball of the foot wants to unweight, really anchor it in through. This is our warm up. And let's go ahead and lean towards that front right corner, trying to keep your body really nice and solid like we began. Chin draws in, don't let that chicken neck come forward. We're starting to warm up those deep neck flexors and lean back to the back corner of the mat. If you remember, those deep neck flexors really help us control where our head is in space. Let's go ahead and reset center. Also, it takes the work out of the base of the skull in all of our chest lift abdominal activities. Let's make it to the front left side. Big inhale to grow tall. Equal pressure through the tires. Exhale, <sighs> lean forward to that front left corner. Inside heel anchors, outside heel anchors. Feel that inner thigh and outer glute really fire. And then we're gonna go ahead and sink back at the diagonal in opposition. Now notice if your feet wanna lift more on this side than they did on the other. Remember those ball of your foot, pinky toe, big toe side, wanna unweight, really try and focus on that connection. 
and let's go again and lean it forward. So we're gonna do a second set uh, with an option for around the world instead. And let's go ahead and sink back in space. And then we'll bring it center. Now, if you felt like one side was a little harder than the other, let's do a second set that direction. If you felt totally balanced, we're gonna move on to what I like to call either stirring at the ankles or in around the world. Spreading those toes wide, anchoring through, making sure my knees are not locked out. I'm gonna lean forward like that downhill skier. Heels are anchored down. Now, keeping that core nice and tight, ribs against shoulder blades, deep neck flexors. I'm gonna to start to spin towards that left, towards that front left corner. Try to really anchor down the heels. And then I'm gonna sweep around towards the sides and towards the back left corner, slowly and counterbalancing with those hands. Coming around to center. Whew, I started to lock out my knees, back to the back right corner. My big toe side wants to float up, so I'm really anchoring it down. Spinning around to center and towards that front right side. If you're doing this correctly, you should feel like your body is really lit up from ankles all the way to shoulders, even that neck. If those glutes disconnect, pull them back in, push that pubic bone forward. Let's go the other way. Big inhale here. Exhale, hinge it forward in space. This is a simple and subtle exercise that does a lot of good in connecting the systems of our body. We're stirring towards the other direction. Don't roll to the outside of the ankle. Press that big toe down. Sweeping back towards those glutes to center. I can really feel that right hip start to warm up. That's my weaker one. Anchor down the big toe side if it starts to float up and start to stir all the way back and around to center. All right, let's bring our legs all the way together. Find an inner thigh squeeze and we're just gonna come down to a little baby uh, squat here. Now, if this bothers your knees, don't move on, go back to the leans in all directions. So I want you to try and spread the toes wide, anchor into those feet and we're gonna stir the knees. So the knees are gonna stir in one direction and the goal is to try and keep equal pressure in through the feet the entire time. And let's reverse. We're warming up the ankles. There was a little crack in my knee. It was a yummy crack. It only happened once. Repetitive cracking, it's not tracking, right? One, maybe a reset. And we'll go ahead and go one more. And I'm really squeezing those inner thighs in together, standing up nice and tall. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side, uh, just so that way you guys can see what I'm doing through my ankles here. Still tall. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up to a high toe, push the toes off, and I'm gonna stretch and curl the front of my foot. And then slowly roll it back down. So the goal is shifting my weight, articulating up, pointing through the toes and curling those toes under. I'm stretching the top of my feet. All right, I'm gonna to turn towards you, keep going. Now, as you continue, the goal is to keep your weight stacked over your single standing leg. So you don't want your body to shift out to the side. If your body naturally sinks towards that outer glute, that outer glute is likely weak and or the inner thigh is weak to try and balance it. We'll go ahead and go one more each way. If you're hypermobile like me, the knee really wants to lock out. So you've got to focus in on keeping it nice and soft and just explore that movement. The more we find and connect that movement, the more intuitive it becomes. All right, with everything nice and warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and go into some calf stretches and then our standing footwork. So finding a parallel position about hip distance apart or about the size of an orange between the feet, I'm gonna take a big step back. Now, as I take a big step back, I want to imagine my body as an arrow from the heel all the way through the crown of my head. And I want you to really drive it back there. And I'm pressing through the equal pressure of the foot of that front leg and trying to square my hips off here in space. When we stretch our calves, the fabric of our glutes are able to connect a bit more. So glutes are inhibited by tight calves. And then I want you to go ahead and point through that toe, pressing through that second toe, and then drive it back through. Good. Now, my standing leg is my front right leg, and I'm trying to draw my front right hip backwards to keep my hips squared off. And we'll go one more. Rib cage, stay stacked. 
drive it through. And then we're gonna go ahead and bend that back knee, get that stretch to transfer to that lower calf, soleus area and Achilles. Good, we're gonna take just one more good deep breath here. And then stand up and we'll switch, resetting center. Let's take a big step back with that right foot. Drive that heel down, square that hip off by drawing that left front hip backwards. And I want you to think about being an arrow from the crown of your head towards that heel. Really try and drive through by pressing through that front foot. The ball of my foot and my heel are equally active and my toes are relatively free here. So we're gonna take a nice good inhale here. And then we're gonna go to a point and flex. Good, and drive that heel through. Focus in on that glute connection. This is gonna be the precursor for a lot of our balance work that we do later. So balancing is a skill set. We'll go ahead and go one more. If you're struggling with balance right now, always know you can grab a chair um, for support in space or do this close to a wall. All right, let's go ahead and bend that back knee. Feel that stretch transfer to the lower calf and Achilles. I'm firing my back glute, making sure my hips are squared, <sighs> finding that connection in space. We'll go ahead and go last good deep breath, and then we'll go ahead and step it on in. All right, let's go ahead and come into a parallel position. I want the knees to point towards the second toe. So my knees naturally wanna knock in towards each other, so I've gotta fire up those glutes to spin them open. All right, so our goal is to try and keep our knees from shearing forward. We want our booty to go back. Let's go ahead and sit back into a little imaginary chair. Arms are counting balance, counter balance forward. And then draw up to a tall standing position. Let's do that again. Sinking on back. Now, as you continue to move, I want your glutes, your booty, to be the driver of the party. And I want the top of those legs, those quads, to join in because as we focus in on those glutes, we're counterbalancing our daily um, intuitive movement. So we tend to be very quad dominant or front of that leg dominant. People tend to load through the ball of their foot, stand forward, kind of ready to go do things in space. And then when we do move, we tend to really recruit our strongest, most intuitive muscles, which is the top of our legs, our quadriceps. And those glutes, back of the body, don't get as much work. We'll go ahead and go one more, sit back into that imaginary chair. This is your lowest pain-free space. So if this is painful, even a tiny little squat, focusing on your glute is perfect. All right, now in that space, I want you to imagine you're holding a big basket. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. <sighs> Pull the rib cage in. And let's go ahead and open that left arm and close it. We're just holding that little isometric hold, trying to squeeze the buns more. Right one open and closed. Now both open and closed and let's go up an inch, down an inch. Focus in on anchoring through those feet. Can you get the equal pressure into the ball of the foot and the heel? Draw in those abdominals, two more. And let's go ahead and stand it all the way up nice and tall taking our feet out into a wide second position. Let's roll the knees to point towards those toes. And we're gonna sink our tailbone down, sliding down an imaginary wall, and then zip it back up. Now, as you zip it up, I want you to try and drag the heels towards each other till you feel the back of that inner thigh fire. And we'll go ahead and slide it on down the wall again. For me, I've gotta really focus on trying to push those knees backwards now, if you feel any knee pressure, a couple things you wanna check. Make sure the knees are tracking towards that second toe. You can also step those legs out a little wider to take some pressure off those knees. And so that way you're not trending quite as far. For me, I tend to wanna overly rotate my feet open, so I've gotta kinda of pull them in a bit. We'll go ahead and go two more. And now last one, go ahead and hold it down there. And I want you to go down an inch, up an inch. Small little movements, try and lift from the seat. This mimics our footwork on the reformer. 
and it's a bit of a fusion between um, Pilates and standing Pilates. It's all functional, focusing in on the sandwich of the body front to back. Glutes and hamstrings should be working just as hard, if not harder, than the top of those legs. With those knees pressed open, you should really feel the corner of the gluteus medius. Last one, pause and hold. And let's go ahead and lift one heel and tap it down. Lift the other heel and tap it down. One more. Lift the heel, pull those heels in inwards. See if you can get more inner thigh. Other heel. And let's go ahead and stand it on up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pivot. As we pivot, our goal is to come down into a lunge. Now, lunges are not necessarily for any, everyone. So come back to a smaller squat if that feels right for you. All right, peek back, make sure your back knee and toe are in alignment and we're toes in front of heels. And then we're gonna lower down, pause to your lowest pain-free space. We wanna be in a 90-90 lunge, meaning that our hip and knee are at a 90 degree line and this knee is no further forward than that ankle. So really we're looking for this straight line and that straight line. If you need a, lot, a wider lunge to get a little lower, do it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and squeeze that back glute. Fire more as you stand up. It keeps that hip from rolling open. Then focus in on your front leg glute as you slide down. We're gonna do five of these. So five you can hang out with. All right, we want front glute as we lower to dominate, back glute dominates as we raise. Both fire both ways. We'll go two more. The more I squeeze this back glute on the way up, the more stretch I get here in front. Last one. Now hold it there. We're gonna hold it for balance in four, and three, two, and one, go ahead and pivot center and we'll even out the other side. So in that center position, if you need to come up and shake it out, do it. Now let's go ahead and rotate to the other direction. Check in with that back foot, make sure that it's toe in front of heel and that foot is in line with your hip. This is my weaker side, so it tends to step wide, so I always wanna check. Now we're gonna go ahead, lower down to our lowest, pain-free space, 90-90 lunge. Make sure the hips are even by drawing the front, my left knee, back, right hip forward, and we're looking for that straight line. Hip to knee, knee to heel. If you need a, a longer or shorter stride, go ahead and adjust. Engage to lift. Slowly resist it down. And engage to lift. We'll go three more. Think front glute to lower, back glute to raise. Last two. And we'll finish out our last one. And then we're gonna hold it there. Now I want you to pay attention to your back foot. We wanna be pressing into that second toe and not letting that ankle roll out. We're gonna hold this for balance for three, four, two. And one, go ahead and stand at center. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish out this series um, before we work our core on a second set.